everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents, for another Bath and Body Works haul. So yes, the semi-annual sale is not over yet. They're having their red, white, and sale blowout. Um, I had some price adjustments that I had to do on the Island line and the soda line. And um, what is it? The Island, the soda denim and daisies. So I got about $22, $23 back in a price adjustments. And I used that plus an extra $4 to get this haul right here, which I am going to show you. So what did I get? Not very much because I didn't have that much to spend. So they do have the single wick candles on sale. So I did pick up firecracker pop, which will be perfect to burn on 4th of July, which is tomorrow, but then it's celebrated on Monday, but it's really it's tomorrow. Mm, it smells so good. So cherry and fizzy like I was going to get two, but like I said, I just wanted to stay within my budget. So firecracker pop. And this is, what does this say? It does not have the scent notes on it. It just says burns approximately 25 to 45 hours made in Canada. Not for use with oil or potpourri warmers. I don't know. It smells like cherry fizz, cherry cola. So anyway, I got that. And then I picked up another candle, 75% off. And that's the passion fruit and banana flower. This is kind of light scented. It's kind of, it, well, you know what? Passion fruit and banana flower. It's really pretty, but uh, I was kind of hoping it would, it would smell more fruity. It's really light. I don't know about this one. So I got that. I was going to get the Love Always Wins. They didn't have any more of the three wick. They only had the single wick. I like the packaging. I like that it celebrates pride, but I just cannot stand that scent. Uh, the sun wash citrus scent. It smells like crushed up vitamin C tablets. I, I just can't take that, that crushed up vitamin C tablet smell. It just, I didn't like it. Then I reluctantly got, did I need another coconut scent? I picked up the fresh coconut culotta for the 75% off because that makes everything smell better. And I have this in the spray. It's not as uh, sweet in the gel. Coconut milk, vanilla rum, pink hibiscus. I don't smell, do I smell rum? A little bit. Yeah, not so much the hibiscus, but yeah, you can smell a little bit of that rum in there. Um, you can't really smell it in the spray, but you can smell it in the shower gel. Then I also picked up, I mean, I had picked up firecracker pop. I have the whole set. I picked up denim and daisies. I have the whole set. And then the, the last one in the red, white, and fun series is bonfire bash. So I reluctantly finally got bonfire bash, which is a returning scent. Um, I didn't get the spray cause they didn't have the spray left. The cream is already starting to turn this beige color. It's not white anymore because it has vanilla in it. All creams with vanilla will eventually start to change color and turn. Why did I get Bonfire Bash? Did I need another marshmallowy scent? No, but I was watching a video today and Queen of the Girl Geeks was uh, doing a video about the Red, White and Fun series. And she was going on and on about how much she liked Bonfire Bash and how it was the best vanilla and the best marshmallow we sent and it was so good and she convinced me to get Bonfire Bash. So let's smell this. It smells like that Beach Nights marshmallow scent. Vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, cashmere musk. Smell the cream. The cream smells just like the vanilla bean Noel to me. It doesn't smell any more vanilla or marshmallowy than any other than vanilla bean Noel. So I was going to put the cream back and I was 
Thank you, Malcolm, for coughing up a hairball in my video. I was going to put this back and get the Sunwash Citrus or the Love Always Wins, but I really, I could not stand that scent. So, nope. And then they really didn't have any sprays left. Like, that's the one thing that they were really sold out of. But I managed to get two of the last sprays. So now I have all the sprays in the soda series. I have all of them. I have strawberry soda. I have mango Mai Tai. I have strawberry soda, mango Mai Tai, coconut colada. And now I have watermelon lemonade and cherry limeade. Two cents I said I wasn't going to get. Well, Watermelon lemonade, I have in previous incarnations. I have it in the shower gel from previous years. And I also have the lotion from previous sales. So it would only make sense that I get the spray and complete the set. So watermelon lemonade, of course, it's always good when the spray doesn't come out right away because that means no one else tested it. I like it. I mean, it's growing on me. I when, for, I remember when watermelon lemonade first came out and people lost their minds. And I was like, I don't get it. I don't understand. It's a nice scent, but I just don't, I don't get it. It's nice. It's a nice watermelon scent. It smells more like fresh watermelons than it does uh, lemonade. So yeah, I'm glad I got the watermelon lemonade. This is watermelon on ice, sparkling water, sugared lemon. It says life's never been so sweet. And then this one, I got the shower gel. I did not get the lotion because I didn't really know if I wanted to smell like a cherry limeade. This doesn't really smell like cherries at all. It smells totally like lime. Not a fan of lime scents. Um, not a fan of the Limoncello series either. We'll spray this here. You know what it smells like? Sour Patch Kids. When you open up a bag of Sour Patch Kids, that's what it smells like. And it kind of smells like bug spray. Yeah, Sour Patch Kids and bug spray. It's growing on me. Growing on me. This is Juicy Red Cherries, which I do not smell at all. Candied Lime. I get that. Sparkling Citrus Soda. I get that. Yeah. So let's see. Whoa. Let's see what was the total I got back and what was the total I spent. And then for the people who said you can't get a price adjustment twice, yes, you can. I got a price adjustment twice on Firecracker Pop. I originally spent $10 on it, then it went to five, then it went 75% off. They did adjust it again. As long as it's within two weeks and you have the receipt. So, um, I don't know how much I got back. I got something like, 20 like I said $22 or something like that back um and then I um I spent like $24 I don't know I don't know I I got I all I know was that I I got approximately 20 something back and I spent approximately 24 and everything was 75% off. So that's two sprays, two shower gels, a body lotion, which I'm going to hold you to this Bonnie over Queen of the Girl Geeks. I want to see if Bonfire Bash is as great as you say. And then the two candles, the Firecracker Pop and the uh, Passion Fruit Banana Flower, all 75% off. So now I can be done with the sale. I'm not going to be done with the sale. I know I'm going to find more stuff to pick up, but I can be done now because I have gotten everything that I purchased now for 75% off. So I can feel comfortable that I got it for the lowest rock bottom price. Everything was 75% off that I purchased. Even if it wasn't when I first got it, it was in, in the end. So now, now everything is 75% off. That's, for sale so I uh I can go you know now I don't have any more money to spend but when I do um because the sale is going to go on for another week I can go pick up a couple of more things and don't have to worry about these annoying price ex uh, adjustments uh what was the other thing I wanted to tell you I think that was it Malcolm is staring at me
like, why am I not paying attention to him? Why? Yeah, so I can't think of what else it is that I wanted to tell you. I'll remember for next time. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.